Matthew and Doug from Macro Bros Bodybuilding MB3. And today, we're on our way home from the gym. We had a shoulder workout and we hit calves as an accessory muscle. But anyway, you see the title. What we're talking about is normally during our shoulder workouts, we basically stand by a dumbbell rack and use a, like mainly free weights. I mean, besides that, maybe like a barbell, you know, overhead press and stuff like that. But usually it's like a dumbbell press or barbell press and then like side laterals or rear, rear delt laterals and front raises and stuff like that. All so free weights. Yeah, all free weights. So today... Yeah, today we decided to switch it up a little. It wasn't even... We didn't plan to do it, it just kind of happened. We almost use machines for all of our exercises. Like, what did we start out with? Well, we started oh. out, <laughs> of course, with dumbbell press, because actually we haven't done a, a, just dumbbell shoulder press for a long time. Usually we've been doing a, a overhead press. Anyway, we started out with that, and then we moved to rear delts. Oh, almost in the bird. <laughs> Then we moved to rear delts and we did a, a rear delt machine. It's it's like a pec deck. You can like you can yeah, move like the arms rear. in and then do rear delts. I don't know if you guys have that at your gym, but it's pretty common. Anyway, and then after that we moved to an isolated side delt like lateral. What was that called? Your side delt? Oh, just the <laughs> side laterals, I guess. Yeah, side lateral raises, but it was For your uh, side delts. Yeah. It was a machine, though, where you'd sit against the bench and, like, be, it's kind of like if you see my other shoulder workout, you can see it right here. I'll, I explain in that workout that some people like to do their side laterals at a 90 degree angle. I can see my arm. And I was explaining that it doesn't really target the muscles much and I, I just don't really feel it as much. So I like to do it with my arms fully extended. But this machine allowed us to do it with a 90 degree angle. And because you're using heavier weight, it did work. But we ended up only doing three sets of that. And then going finishing our five sets of dumbbell laterals with finishing the last two sets with a um, side dumbbell with our arms fully extended because it was it was really good because it was really isolated on your side delt but it just it wasn't you couldn't get a full range of motion just because it, it was a machine which I would say machines are really good for targeting a certain area but it does limit you because oh, yeah. of the fact that you don't build up your stabilizer muscles and everything to support the weight that when you use free weights. And like you said, basically every machine you can possibly think of limits your range of motion. And even when we, like he was saying, it limits, or it doesn't, you don't use your stabilizing muscles, which are incredibly important. Let's say you have a Smith, use a Smith machine to bench press your whole life, or a machine bench. A chest press and then you go to even a barbell but especially like if you go to dumbbell press your arms are gonna be like shaking I don't know if you've ever seen someone who's never benched before try to bench but I've seen a couple people and even with a barbell they are shaking like this it's almost it's funny because they have no stabilizing muscles that you would build up use with those free using free weights and dumbbells and things like that whereas like on this shoulder press machine we did it's, yeah, no stabilizing muscles being used, which, which is okay for maybe trying to burn your muscles out because your stabilizer is going to run out. I, I don't know. It's just... Exactly. When your muscle's exhausted, it's really beneficial to use because you can actually, I don't know, it's, it's safer also. And another thing is free or... I'm talking about machines are really good for let's say you're getting older or something like that and you want to be safer and you don't want to let's say injure your shoulder or tear something then they're really beneficial because they're a lot safer because the range of motion is limited let's say you can't get it you can just drop it down and it will catch it as to where free weights you could get hurt but if you're into bodybuilding and not just so much fitness and trying to stay in shape then I definitely say free weights are more beneficial and higher up more superior to it I guess but throwing in machines I'd say is definitely a good idea in any routine like once in a while yep and along with that safety point you made Doug <laughs> um, let's say you're you have a bad shoulder or something and you can't maybe on 
shoulder press. You can't um, it, stretch your shoulder all the way down to where the barbell would be at maybe your chest or even at your chin. You, the only way it's comfortable is only to bring down the weight to maybe like your eyes, let's say. Well, a machine, you can set it to where you can only bring it to that and it'll stop. So you won't accidentally maybe even like overextend a shoulder or tear a muscle. Exactly, so it's definitely safer and it targets the muscle better, but for overall development and if you want to get big, fast, machines usually aren't optimal for that. Anyway, we're ranting again, <laughs> but I hope you like the video. Speaking of that, you can go ahead and like the video. You can throw down a comment. And you can even subscribe. But remember guys, there's always more on the way, so stay tuned.